Today, I have been on the beach. I've got my bucket, I've got my shovel and my rake, and I have been digging, searching for, do you know what it is? Treasure, that's right. I've been searching for treasure because every week that we have come to Sunday school, we have found treasure in God's word. And that's what we're gonna do again today. We've got a brand new treasure that we're gonna find. So stick around, cause you're not gonna wanna miss it. Today in Sunday school, we are gonna learn about a gift. Have you ever gotten a gift, Laughing Liz? Yeah. And now when you got a gift, were you sad? No. What were you? I was happy. You were happy? I was really happy. Well, we are learning about a special gift that Jesus wants to give us, and do you know what it does? It makes our heart happy. Yay. So jump up and let's sing this song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your life will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, you all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. Where is the treasure? I know there is treasure. Where is it? Oh, oh, hi! Can you help me? Can you help me find the treasure? You said you, oh, hi, Mr. Fish. Have you seen the treasure? He says, keep looking. Clap is Liz. Oh, hi. Hi, you guys, little Jess. You and the kids, you're looking for the treasure. I'm looking for the treasure. You Can you help us? I do. I think we need to head over this way because I think I saw it. You guys were close, Jeez, but just bitch. not close enough. All right, let's go. Here it is. Oh, Here's the treasure. You were so close. Well, our treasure that we are learning from God's word says, he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Amos 3, 7. And you know what that means, Laughing Liz? Yes, I do. What does that mean? God speaks through his prophets, like Whoa. a pastor, Sunday school teachers. So what you're saying is every week when we come to Sunday school and our teachers are teaching us mm -hmm. things like to listen and to obey, that's God speaking to us? It is. Whoa. Yes. So as you memorize God's word, your memory verse every week, do you know that that's God talking to your heart? Because what are our actions? Do you remember laughing, Liz? Yes, are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, are you ready? I think they okay. are. I, I will, will obey God's word. word. Let's say it again. I will obey God's word. So as God is speaking to us through our Sunday school teachers, through our pastor, through our moms and our dads, then when we listen and obey, we're obeying the word of God. Yes, we are. We're obeying God's voice. How cool is that? Awesome. Now, laugh and laugh. I think we have a pretty cool story that's going on over by Mr. Clownfish. Awesome. I think this might be a story that our kids haven't heard before. Well, I can't wait for them to find out. I about know, it. let's go. There was a man in the Bible named Obadiah. And Obadiah was a prophet. That means God would talk to him 
and tell him what to tell the people. So God spoke to Obadiah and told him to tell the people to make right choices. And while Obadiah was telling the people to make right choices, he reminded them of a story. In the Bible, there was a man named Isaac and God gave Isaac two sons and their names were Jacob and Esau. Now, so Jacob and Esau, they were brothers. Do you have any brothers or sisters? You know what was cool about Jacob and Esau? They were twins. Are any of you twins? Cool. So they were twins, but they weren't exactly alike. They were different. Now, Isaac, their daddy, he had a special gift. He had a very special gift. So Esau, Esau, he really liked to eat and he liked to play. It's fun to eat, it's fun to play, it's fun to do stuff. And he just loved having a good time and playing with his toys. But he really didn't wanna pray and he didn't put God first. He did not choose to put God first and to pray. He really didn't care about God very much. And that makes my heart sad. That makes God's heart sad when we do that. But that's how Esau was. But his brother, Jacob, oh, he loved to eat and play too. But he put God first. He loved God with all his heart. And what was most important to him was the things of God. So who do you think was making right choices? Was it Esau or was it Jacob? You're right, it was Jacob. He was putting God first and he loved God more than anything else. And he still had fun too. So who do you think got the special gift from their daddy, Isaac? If you said Jacob, you're right, because he put God first and he got the special gift. And do you know what? God has a special gift for you. God has a special gift that he wants to give us. And do you know what it's called? It's called the Holy Ghost. What is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is God coming in to your heart is so wonderful. God loves us so much. He wants us to make right choices and he wants to give you the gift of the Holy Ghost. You guys know this song? It's our dive deep. So jump up and help us sing.
Aiden was so excited. He was excited about something. And so Addie asked Aiden, what's going on? Why are you so excited? And Aiden said, my friend Tommy, he asked me to go fishing with him tomorrow and I love to fish. And Addie said, but, 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 but Aiden, tomorrow is Sunday. We go to church on Sunday. And Aiden said, oh, 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 that's right. I, well, uh. and so Aiden asked his mommy, mommy, Tommy, he asked me to go fishing with him tomorrow. And I just love to go fishing. And I know it's Sunday, but can, can I go fishing with Tommy? And mommy said, Aiden, we are learning to make good choices and to put God first. And Sunday, the first day of the week, we put God first because we love him so much and we go to church. We go to Sunday school. So we're gonna go to church tomorrow, all of us. And you know what Aiden said? He had a choice to make right here. Would he throw a fit or would he say, yes, ma'am? And you know what Aiden said? He said, yes, ma'am, mommy. But then Aiden got an idea. And so he asked his friend, Tommy, he said, Tommy, you know what? Our family, we put God first because we love him so much. And instead of going fishing tomorrow, Will you come to Sunday school with me? And do you know what Tommy said? Tommy said, yay, I would love to go to Sunday school with you tomorrow. So Aiden and Addie, they went to Sunday school and they had their friend Tommy with them and they had so much fun in Sunday school and they learned how that Jesus loves them and Tommy, Tommy learned how much that Jesus loved him and he was so excited. It was wonderful. And then Aiden and Tommy, they did go fishing on a different day. And they had so much fun because they had made the right choice and they put God first. Do you know what Aiden and Addie learned? They learned that when we put God first and we make right choices, even our friends can learn about Jesus too because we put God first and you can do the same thing. You can put God first because he loves you so much and then you can share it with others, with your friends. We've been learning today about the gift that God wants to give to us, and that's the Holy Ghost. So this song is called I've Got the Holy Ghost. It is a favorite here in Sunday school, so help us sing. Clap your hands with us. I've got the Holy Ghost down in my soul, just like the Bible says. I've got the Holy Ghost. Like the Bible says, well, I've been to the water and I've been baptized. My soul got happy and I'm satisfied. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Just like the Bible, just like the Bible, just like the Bible says. Jesus more than anything. 
more than ice cream. Yeah, ice cream's nice. And we even get to eat ice cream sometimes. But we need Jesus first. That's right. Let's see, we need Jesus more than toys, more than candy. All those things are nice. But we got to choose Jesus first. We need Jesus. He wants to help us make good choices. And he wants to give us that special gift, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you are so good and you love us so much. You want us to make good choices. You want to give us the Holy Ghost. Lord, we ask that you be with us this week and help us to make right choices and to put you first and love you more than anything else. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good week.